something I might mention too is that when you're using your thumbprint, sometimes beginners or even people that have been doing it longer don't use the right size thumbprint for the part of the flower that they're using. And I can use this if I was a little bit off in my knife cut with my swivel knife. I can use this if it's the right size to smooth out and round out, round out a petal and it makes it look smoother and more defined which helps really clean up your work if you know how to use the right size thumbprint tool on your flowers and stems. You know, and right now the, the leather's getting burnished. There's just about the right amount of moisture in there to give it kind of a burnished look. Again, I put this thumbprint just barely back from the edge a little ways to help define it and round it. A lot of stamping is it's just a matter of learning how to control your tools and not let them go over and hit something else that you don't want to like I did right there <clears throat> but I can kind of I can kind of smooth that out a little bit and just go like that if I if I have made a mistake I'll do a little bit more of that later. I probably do more of that than most people do. And I've got these magnifying glasses on. And my eyes get tired after a while, especially with small flowers. But every little divot in the leather shows up with these things on. And I've noticed that they some little mistake looks huge with these things on then you take your magnifying glasses off and you can't even see it which is actually how I'd like to have it anyway so I guess that's all right
I'll do these little tiny flowers and I'm not going to hit them. The smaller the flower, the more delicately you have to use your tools. Precisely, you have to place them. See something else I forgot, which I'll fix right now. 